some of the greatest dangers are with uh, the most simple uh, toys that don't involve any great complexity. One of those uh, are the uh, choking hazards. Uh, and we always suggest that the best thing to do is just to take a toilet tissue uh, roll, the, the, the center here, and use it uh, to evaluate products that you're considering. And that uh, you also uh, give consideration to the youngest child of the family. That's not necessarily the uh, child that you're bought, buying the toy for, but the youngest child, if it's anything like my granddaughter's, is most likely to take a great interest in the toy chosen for perhaps a uh, much older one. So this uh, product looks certainly uh, interesting enough and uh, it's big. It's just that in the toy, one of the things they have is the spoon uh, for the doll. And that spoon goes sliding right through, uh, as does, uh, let's see, one of the other, I think there's a, a, a product with uh, this furry pet that is also looks big and fun and squeezable, but it has a little uh, uh, bottle here to feed the duck, and again, it goes sliding through. It's that small part of what uh, may appear to be a big toy that poses a real hazard, as do something that uh, my granddaughters love, which are balloons. Uh, the number of children every year who suffer from having a balloon pop and end up down their throat is really a serious uh, concern. Uh, a, uh, another uh, thing I think is important to remember during this time of economic downturn, and that is the desire of families everywhere to try to cut as many corners as they can economically to continue to provide uh, the joy of a child uh, opening a holiday package and seeing a new toy, uh, when they may put that new toy there after having gone to a flea market or a garage sale or something else to cut corners. Many of the products there are fine, but some of them do not meet existing standards uh, with reference to lead and other concerns. Uh, and so if you are planning to make your purchases in the secondary market like that, it's all the more important to look at trouble in toy land and consider what those hazards are and evaluate them. So remembering the youngest children, remembering the most basic of uh, concerns about these products, choking hazards, using safety equipment uh, with uh, all toys as children get, get older and are skateboarding and, and tricycling or bicycling to avoid uh, uh, head injuries and other kinds of injuries as someone who recently had one on a uh, bicycle myself and got great treatment at Seton. Uh, the importance of having that safety equipment really, really there for our children. And remembering it's the youngest child in the family uh, who is most important in looking at these hazards. All guidelines that I think are important. A great holiday season to all made better by safety and concern for our youngest Texans.